now the latest on September 28th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The main feature around the world today is still Hurricane Lorenzo, along with a new tropical storm that has formed in the Philippine Sea, 19W. 68 storms, therefore, have formed so far in the world as of today, day 271 of the year. Day 119 in the Atlantic, Lorenzo there, still a Category 3 in the uh, Central Atlantic, starting to move north. In the Eastern Pacific, 94E, very broad, likely to form though in the next few days as it progresses towards the west northwest. And in the Western Pacific, 19W will be curving towards the north and looks like it's going to be another one of those weak to moderate typhoons that affect the Japanese islands. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. So here is Lorenzo, Category 3, winds of 120 miles per hour, pressure 951 millibars according to our estimates at this time. It is just past 20 degrees north and it is at 43.6 west. 1173 miles from Guadeloupe, which happens to be the closest point of land from the storm, still very far away, but a rip currents from the storm could still be felt there on some of those islands as it moves past. It's going to curve northward and then more decidedly northeastward by the start of next week and then it will um, speed up in uh, forward motion as well, we expect. And by the middle to late part of the week, it will be moving through the western islands of the Azores and could still have a pressure in the 950s when it gets there. Here's how it's looking on the satellite imagery then. Um, so wind shear really started to uh, kill the storm off a little bit last night from its peak intensity of around 150 miles per hour. Um, it is now moving up towards the north a little bit more. Wind shear starting to get a bit more favorable again as well. The further west it goes, the better it will be for the storm for a potential secondary peak. This is the wide shot in the Atlantic. You can see how broad uh, Lorenzo is. Not looking quite as impressive even on the wide shot than it did yesterday. And you can see the mess, the soup in the Western Atlantic, which is the remnants of Karen and Jerry, both still lingering around that region. Uh, very disorganized mess over there, Lorenzo bucking the trend. The uh, Gulf of Mexico also looking rather disorganized on a local level there, but thunderstorms over the Yucatan. The Eastern Pacific on the right hand side you can see a very broad area that is Invest 94E. Uh, it was Invest 93E yesterday further west and that looks like it got swallowed up by the energy of that other new system that could become our next tropical cyclone. The Central Pacific a lot of disturbances in lower latitudes nothing interesting has really come out of that just yet. The Western Pacific you can see how far west that Invest uh, the, the tropical storm 19W has tracked. We're still awaiting the name from the Japanese Meteorological Agency, uh, but the Philippines have named it Onyok. There are no warnings in effect from Pegasa at this point, but some convective uh, clouds could reach the islands very soon. The Australian South Pacific region appears to have a satellite outage, that's why we've got just the one frame of satellite imagery, which is pretty poor, but there is what we're looking at there, and the same goes for the Indian Ocean. Someone's going to get sacked in the satellite department, and this is what it looks like there. A disturbance still lingering off the coast of western India, generally quiet otherwise. Sea surface temperatures look like this. The coast of Mexico, very warm still, 30 degrees plus, where that Invest 94E is very warm and favourable for a few days. The Gulf of Mexico, warmer in the west, but still warm in the east. The Caribbean, really warm temperatures. We were looking at ocean heat content earlier today, um, and it is on a par with 2017 as the highest numbers that we've seen since records began in 1992. Uh, the Indian Ocean, very warm here as well particularly along the Indian and Bangladeshi coast, 30 degrees there. The Philippine Sea, where that storm is now, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. It will cool down as it gets closer towards Japan, so I wouldn't be expecting the strongest of storms from this because the ocean heat content just isn't really there as it was earlier on this season uh, for the track that this storm is taking, which is a rather familiar one. It's going to likely track through those Japanese Ryukyu Islands and then on towards the Korean Peninsula. It's about the third or fourth storm to do that this year. And this is what Hurricane Lorenzo is looking like as well. Um, so the eye still visible in those frames, not many frames on this particular imagery, uh, but that's some visible from during the course of today. Um, it's really capitulated a lot 
in the course of the last few hours since that eye disappeared late last night, uh, early this morning. This is what we're looking at right now then, um, the naming list coming up in the Atlantic if we get another storm, I think we will. Melissa is next up in the Eastern Pacific, it will be Nada, in the Central Pacific it's Ima. Over in the Western Pacific, it looks like it's about to arrive, but we still haven't got it just yet. It will be called Mitag if 19W gets a name from the JMA, followed by Hagibis. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name on this date is Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter and get in touch with us on there under the same name. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.